Hello, welcome back again to NX Tutorial. In this session, I would like to explain about uh, NX Progressive Die. It's a special module in here, Progressive Die Wizard. Or you can see in application we have in here Progressive Die. So in here it's just only the first stage uh, about the Progressive Die. So I will make this part like a layout like this okay now in order to make that first thing you have to do is define intermediate stage from blank to part or from part to blank I would prefer from this one from part to blank it means that you going reverse you get the actual the finished part and you go reverse until it all become flat yeah, because uh, the basic uh, the raw material I mean the raw material for progressive die is made from sheet metal which is means it's flat so I will make how many step in here it's one two three four five six seven 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 step starts station the orientation is going to X a direction and insert after the red okay let's try it first okay you see here the 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 pitch is too too close between each other so I will maybe change a little bit what about 30 apply okay it's still close Maybe 45 uh, much much better but it's still overlapping each other so maybe about 55 mm. it's quite far but it's okay we can change th this later on so I click OK and then I will go to Dike Unfolding. The first thing is to convert all of this into sheet metal. Now, uh, before I go this, maybe I should explain this a little bit. Now, you can see in here, this is the part file and this is all the step. All the step. The final it means the end product gonna be like this the final one final two three four five six my expectation in the final six is the flat one okay I will go back again into this one and return to the next step it's called a direct unfolding so I will convert the original part become a sheet metal Okay, define neutral factor, the material, change the material, click OK. Let's see. The factor table. Okay. Select face bend face, I mean select the basic face. Click this one. The material, SPCC, click apply. So the NX automatically create a sheet metal properties for this original cat. After it finish, it will create uh, some kind of uh, the band list in here. can see in here all the body are linked together so it means that when I change this the other also will be changed now in here the annex create the list of the band if I go this one it will highlight NX recognize this as a band 
and we can use bending operation for all this recognized uh, geometry let me show you I go into final one final one is in here maybe I will change a little bit for example in this in here I get pen operation for example I will click unbend it will automatically unbend like this okay now I want to cancel this I want because I want to show you something for example if I click this unbend and then I move the cursor slightly here you can see this is become reference this become unbent okay if I cancel again if I move the cursor close to here unbent operation this become the fixed position this become uh, the moving position so it's very important for you to make sure you click use on, on, on the right side so it's not gonna be wrong but if you accidentally click on the wrong side it's fine for example like this I choose the wrong side you can click show alternate results so it will be like this it's switching okay now for example if you want this band is not exactly going from flat into 90 degrees you can add some called pre-band so you can uh, divide this bending into two band using angle 45 degrees neutral triple factor FPCC select band click apply so it will divide become two band so what is the good for this you can unbend only 45 degrees this one you see in the left apply okay but if you not divide if you click unbend it will unbend 90 degrees so this is very useful if you have the actual process bending from 0 to 45 degrees and then later to 90 degrees okay I will divide this one again using P band Click apply and then unbend 45 degrees okay now if I change this the other also will be changed okay now going again with same unbend operation select intermediate stage go this one and then I create the flat one in here click apply click apply and then I click apply for this and this on this one also click apply okay I go into the next stage next stage like this okay maybe I will unbend this first this one maybe okay and also this one this one back again select the other stage return this for example I unbend this click apply unbend this click apply now you see the graphical is not good 
Oh, so I need to make a little bit smoother. You can go to view, facet setting, go to ultra fine, ultra fine, regenerated facets. Uh, you can see smooth in here. It's easier for you to work with smooth uh, viewing. Apply. And I click apply. This one also. Okay. Going to the other. The next step. Flattening this one. Click apply. Flattening this one. Click apply. Now I'm going. I'm going to flat this uh, together. One. And two. Also one. And two. <coughs> Select the middle stage. Here. You can unbend this one and two, and then if that you can unbend this also one and two. Okay, this is the last one, but we still need to unbend one, two, three, four, maybe two more. Uh, but I'm going to just add one more selection so I will add intermediate stage in here become 8 just adding one so click the last one unbend unbend okay last one unbend click apply unbend click apply so we still need one more intermediate stage I'm gonna add more increase one add more in here unbend select intermediate stage click OK in here selection and click apply click apply the last one okay click apply you can see all finish so this is the final product this is the beginning after you create a piercing so it after this it start bending here 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 and finally the result is this one uh, you can hide this one if you feel uh, confused so this is the step of creating a progressive die. Okay, so <coughs> after this, you're going to create initialize a project. But I will show show you this later using the other part. Uh, so I will show you maybe with the part that have bend and also have a, a forming. Okay. And here it's done. Thank you very much for your attention and see you on the next video.